Have you ever wondered if you could break into the world of cybersecurity without a degree or formal experience? Well, today, I'm here to tell you that it's possible. In this video, I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step roadmap to becoming a self-taught junior cybersecurity engineer. We'll cover everything from foundational knowledge to advanced tools and hands-on projects that will make you job ready. So, if you're ready to secure your future, let's dive in. Before you start protecting networks from hackers, you need to understand how those networks work. The first step in our roadmap is mastering the IT fundamentals, which will take you about two to three months. Start learning the basics of networking, learn how the internet works, understand TCP IP, DNS, and how data flows across networks. Then learn the basics of operating systems, by getting familiar with Windows, Linux, and Mac OS environments. These are the building blocks of cybersecurity. Trust me, you won't get far without them. Make sure you set up a virtual box with different operating systems and configure and troubleshoot a small network using Wireshark as it is in the hands-on project. The second step is to learn cybersecurity fundamentals with your IT basics in place, it's time to get into the nitty-gritty of cybersecurity. This phase will take you about 3 to 4 months. Start with security essentials by diving into firewalls, IDS slash IPS, VPNs, and basic encryption techniques. And then learn Kali Linux the go-to operating system for cybersecurity professionals. This is where things start to get exciting. You'll begin to see how everything connects in the world of cybersecurity. Now let us see different hands-on projects that you can do after learning the fundamental skills needed in cybersecurity. Start by performing network scanning using Nmap. Then set up and use Metasploit for penetration testing. And then end by configuring and testing a firewall in a home lab environment. The third step is to start specializing in cybersecurity field. Now that you've got a solid foundation, it's time to specialize. This is where you decide which area of cybersecurity you want to focus on, and it will take you three to six months to master. Start learning penetration testing by learning ethical hacking tools like Burp Suite and the Wasp Zap. Then learn Soak Analyst and get hands-on with seam tools like Splunk and the ELK stack. Whether you want to be the one finding vulnerabilities or monitoring networks for attacks, this is the stage where you start to shine. Now let us see some hands-on projects that you can do start to complete capture the flag, CTF, challenges on platforms like try hack me or hack the box. Then analyze logs using Splunk from a simulated network. After that, set up and secure a web application in a testing environment. By now, you've learned a ton, but how do you show it off? Building a portfolio and getting certified is key, and this phase will take two to three months. During the portfolio creation, you must document your home lab setups, completed projects, and capture the flag challenges. Consider also industry-recognized certifications like CompTIA Security Plus, CHE, or GSEC. Your portfolio is your proof of work. Employers love seeing real-world projects, so make sure to showcase your best efforts. Now let us see some of the hands-on projects that you must work on. Start by documenting your setup and analysis projects. And then write a blog or create a GitHub repository to showcase your work. And there you have it, the complete roadmap to becoming a self-taught junior cybersecurity engineer. With dedication and persistence, you can transform from a beginner to a cybersecurity pro in about 10 to 16 months. Remember, it's not just about what you know, it's about what you can do. So, if you found this roadmap helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech career tips. Thanks for watching, and good luck on your journey to cybersecurity success.